Welcome to Alistair Knox Satanic Audio Blog. If you were not with us last night at our Satanic class, you really missed a treat. We had a good turnout, uh, some really uh, good exchanges of information, thought provoking, and uh, uh, some really good conversations. I've placed a transcript of that on the Satanic Forum. If you have an account, log in and uh, get a transcript of that class, and I think you'll really enjoy it. I'm happy to say there are really some intelligent people out there who are coming to Satanism because all of these religions and these uh, cults and these other beliefs do not make any sense. So they are turning to Satanism, and uh, of course we are, are more than happy to have them explore and to have people think about things and form their own opinions. What I would like to speak about tonight is something that I begin to notice from time to time, and as our forum is in its infancy and as it grows in the future, we will probably see more. It it seems that no matter how many times you try to explain things to people, the more you ask, the more that they are determined to do whatever it is that you're trying not to do. One thing in any association is respect for other people, and there should be an underlying peace and peacefulness from the group. The various steps of groups and and teams starts with the forming, and then it moves into the uh, storming phase where people become more vocal about their beliefs. They're feeling more comfortable in their surroundings, and so they may begin to elaborate more on their beliefs and why they feel that their beliefs are the most accurate beliefs. And then we move into the norming phase, and that's actually where the work takes place. And so your team has come together, worked out the kinks, and now you move into the norming. That's the phase where the work gets done. That's the phase where decisions are made and and real good intellectual exchanges and conversations and evaluations of principles and and ideas takes place. As the group forms and it, it moves into this storming phase, there are those who are a little more vocal than others. It is sometimes disheartening when we see really maladaptive behavior and even moving into criminal element as well. And that's tragic. This is the primary reason I have been so apprehensive about forming a satanic virtual coven. This uh, cycle of team building inevitably comes to this point where you have to take the person aside and say, while we would like for you to remain with our group, you're going to have to understand that there are certain norms and certain things that are unacceptable. And when you cross that line, you are not going to be able to be forgiven for that, especially if you do that over and over and over again. This is the reason why I have intentionally stayed away from trying to do 
anything like this in the public forum. The covens that I oversee are, they're way past that stage. And any new initiate, they are taught from day one that while we respect them as individuals, we also expect them to respect other people as individuals and to respect the coven as a unit. There are certain boundaries that we don't cross. I have been successful in Satanism not by doing stupid things or saying stupid things. Things that will get you in trouble with authorities and in the wrong standing in the Satanic community. I am not an advocate for any organized religion. And I am not really an advocate for an organized satanic religion. I believe that ultimately religions or cults or whatever you would like to call them, ultimately they self-destruct. You can do almost anything in Satanism. There are very few rules. However, with those choices and with that freedom comes a responsibility. Anton LaVey summed it up several times in the Satanic Bible. You have to be accountable for what you say and what you do. While you do have the freedom to say and do what you want, you do not have the freedom to insult other people nor lead other people down a path of destruction. Our covens have stayed together two decades because we do respect one another. We vet the initiates before they come in thoroughly. We enforce our accepted norms within our covens. And we do not tolerate those who instigate trouble. I wanted to express this tonight because I think it's very important that people think about this. Because again, with freedom comes the responsibility for oneself and their actions. You cannot have one without the other. I am a satanic magus, but it does not give me the right to infringe upon another person's rights. Satanic gurus who preach that once you reach the magus status or the high priest status, that you can do anything that you want to people are full of bullshit. Those who are waiting and watching are looking and evaluating the way that certain things are done and the way that certain people react. Satanism is not chaos. It is not anarchy. You are responsible for those things that you say and those actions. Until next time, this is Alistair Knox. Satanic Blessings. Satanic Blessings.